Mark, Benjamin, Dolores, oh no, Sean, Sean, yes, help, help. help, they are missing, my animals, they are missing. Oh no, they are missing. But look, there's a note, help us escape. We are stuck in the game. Join the game and complete all the missions to save us. Sean, we have a mission, Sean. Wow. Are you ready for an adventure, Sean? Yes, let's do it. Let's, let's go. go. You are now watching Level 1 on Didet TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. And as you saw earlier for our teacher's profile, we'll be having Miss Sylvia. Hi, Miss Sylvia. Hi, Sean. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm excited. Yes, <laughs> I'm also super excited because today will be an exciting lesson. But of course, we will also be having our sign language interpreter, and that is none other than Teacher Cathy. Hi, Teacher Cathy. All right, so, and I understand that we also have a couple of pupils who are online with us right now. Let's have a look at who they are. Hi, everyone. Hello. There we go. <laughs> Our very bright and happy faces that will be joining us today. Could you kindly introduce them to us? Hi, everyone. Good day. My name is Miss Sylvia, and I am an English teacher from SK Jalan Gurney 2. So today, I actually have two pupils who are actually from my school as well. And they are first, Putri Sofia Tufaila Binti Salehuddin. Hi Putri! There she is. And we also have Nuruddin Amar Zanki bin Kairul Asnawi. Hi Amar! And we also have two other pupils from SJKC Poko Asam Taiping Para. First, we have Max Kwa Tian Hao. Hi Max! And let's also welcome Liu Yunling. Hi Yunling. Nice to see all of you here today. Yes, it is absolutely amazing to have you here. But of course, I have a very important question. Are you ready for our lesson for today? Give us a thumbs up if you're ready. Yes. yes. Looks like everyone is ready. But what are we learning today? Okay, so for today, mm -hmm. what we're going to learn, if you realize just now, the animals are missing. <gasps> so for today, we're actually going to go on an adventure. Oh, wow. Okay, and we're going to help these animals escape. Okay, alright. So here, the topic for today is adventure and escape. And it's actually from year two, unit six called the old house. So for today, there are two skills that we are going to focus on. First is the listening skill and we also have writing as well. So for listening today, you're going to listen, okay, recognize and reproduce with support a range of high-frequency target language phonemes about habitats as well as animals. And the same goes for writing. So you're going to spell a narrow range of familiar high-frequency words accurately in guided writing. So for today, we have three missions that we have to complete. So the first one, you're going to listen to a keyword given to you and you will have to state the names of at least three habitats correctly. I'll be introducing all these to you later. And the second thing that we'll be doing is you're going to listen again, but this time you're going to listen to hints about where an animal lives and you have to state the names of at least three habitats correctly. And last but not least, the third mission, you will identify at least two animals on a map which are in the wrong habitat and you have to relocate them back by writing their responses, your responses on coloured papers. So these are the three things that we are going to do today. So yeah. shall we start with the first one? Oh yes, let's begin. Okay, so if you see here today, mm -hmm. okay, we have actually a few habitats here. Ooh. So habitats actually, it is actually the home 
of an animal or a plant. Just like you, you have a house which you live in, right? So even for animals and plants, they have a home. And their home is actually called habitat. So here, we have five habitats that you're going to learn today. Wow. So the first one, the first one on the most right, if you can see, that is actually polar region. Polar region. So at the polar region, if you can see, there is snow. There is snow. So the white one over here is snow. So polar region, snow. Next, the next one here is Ocean, ocean, okay. So at the ocean, if you can see these colorful things here, they're actually called corals. So most people think that corals are actually plants or they could be rocks, but no, you're wrong. They are actually animals. So very small animals that actually they stick to the rocks and they grow from there. So corals and ocean. Next over here, we have jungle jungle so at the jungle if you can see we have trees so many trees and they are green okay so jungle and trees and over this side we have desert desert so at the desert if you can see this thing in brown it's actually sand sand so desert Sen. And last but not least, we have mountains. Mountains. So at the mountains, if you can see the one in grey, they are actually rocks. Ooh. Rocks. So they are rocks, the one in grey, mm -hmm. rocks at the mountain. So rocks are basically very, very big stones. So stones are very small but rocks are very, very big. Okay. So now that you already know a few habitats, shall we do our first mission? Okay, Ooh. so for this mission, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to show you a map. Okay, so on this map, there are actually empty slots from number one until number five. So what you have to do is you have to listen to the keyword that I will give to you and based on the keyword, you have to state the habitat. Okay, pupils, are you ready for the first mission? Don't worry, I will guide you. If you are ready, can you please give me a thumbs up? Can you give me a thumbs up if you're ready? Oh, yes. Okay, All so right. let's start. So let's bring the map in. Okay. Look at that map. It is really big over here just okay. to make sure that everyone is able to see it. Wow, look at that. Okay. There we go. So we Thank have you. the map here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to give you the keywords. So if you are ready to answer, I want you to raise your hand. Okay, so the first keyword. Okay, listen carefully. The first keyword trees. Ooh. Trees. Can you tell me where you can find trees? Okay, you can raise your hand. Who would like to try this one? Okay, Max. Max, can you answer? Jungle. Jungle. Very well good. Done. You are right. Okay, so the first one is jungle. Okay, so we have got the first one right here. Okay, well done. Now, the second one. Okay, listen carefully for the keyword. Sen. Sen. Where can you find sen? Hmm. Anyone can tell me? Who would like to answer? Okay, Ama. Go ahead, Ama. Desert. Desert. Perfect, well Ama. Done. Well done. You are right. Desert. Okay. Maybe Sean, can you help me with this one? This is for number desert. two. Desert number yeah? two. All right. Okay. So we have got desert. Very well done. Now. Number three, listen for the keyword. Coral. Coral. Where can you find coral? Anyone can tell me? Okay, maybe Yunling. And the next one, I'll go to Putri. Yes, Yunling. Ocean. Ocean. Wow, perfect. Wow. That's right. Ocean. So at the ocean, mm -hmm. you can find 
corals. Very beautiful, very nice. So pupils at home, you can also try and guess by listening to the keyword. We still have two more to go. So next will be putri. So putri, this word is for you, putri. Number four, the keyword is rocks. Rocks. Where can you find rocks? Yes, Putri. Mountains. Mountains. Perfect answer. Awesome. That's right. Mountains. Very well done. So at the mountains, you can find rocks. Very, very, very big rocks. There you go. And the last one. Okay, the last keyword that I'm going to give to you. Snow. Snow. Where can you find snow? Can anyone tell me? You can raise your hand. Okay, maybe I'll go back to Max. Max, can you tell me, Max? Polar region. Polar region. Perfect. Perfect answer. You are right, Max. Okay, that's right. So you can find, okay, right. snow in the polar region. Wow, looks like we have a complete map over here. Very, very well done, pupils. You did really, really well. Give yourselves a clap. Okay, so now you are already able to identify the habitats and you're also able to know and guess what do we have in each of these habitats. So, Sean, mm -hmm. mission number one, complete. Completed. All right. So, here we go for mission number one. We have done a great job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. And because you did so well, we're going to take a short break and be back to you for Level 1 on Didit TV KPM. KPM. Welcome back to Level 1 on DDA TV KPM. And right now, we are going to continue with mission number 2. What is it, Miss Sylvia? Okay, now, just now, if you remember at the first part, I actually lost some of my friends, okay? Oh. So let's get to know them, these animals. Okay, what are they? So let's begin with the first one. So these are my friends. So the first one, we have got Tiger. Tiger. So, tiger is spelled as T-I-G-E-R. Tiger. Okay. And next, we have parrot. Parrot. So, parrot is spelled as P-A-R-R-O-T. Parrot. Okay. And we also have camel. C-A-M-E-L. Camel. Next, Goat. G-O-A-T. Goat. Goat. We also have polar bear. P-O-L-A-R. Polar. And bear. B-E-A-R. Polar bear. Ah, right. this Ooh. one. I'm sure all of you know this one. It's a very mm -hmm. famous song. So this is shark. Shark. S-H-A-R-K. Shark. Mm. And we also have jellyfish. Oh. Jellyfish. So jellyfish is actually one word. You spell it as J-E-L-L-Y-F-I-F. S H jellyfish. Okay. And we also have penguin. Oh. Penguin is P E N G U I N. Penguin. Penguin. Okay. So now mm -hmm. that you know a few of these animals already, hmm, where do they live? Do they live in the jungle? Or is it in the ocean? Okay, so here comes our second mission of the day. Okay. 
Okay. So what you have to do, pupils, you also have to listen for this time. So you're going to listen to some hints. I'm going to give you some hints about this animal. So when you listen, I want you to tell me, based on the hints, where do they live? So just like just now, you can raise your hand if you want to give me the answer. So pupils, if you are ready for mission number two, can you please give me a thumbs up? Yeah. Can I see a thumbs up? Okay. Alright, All right. so looks like everyone is ready. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you the first hint. So listen carefully. The first one. The tiger and parrot live in a place where there are a lot of trees. I repeat, the tiger and parrot live in a place where there are a lot of trees. Can anyone tell me, where do these two animals live? Where? Can you tell me? Who would like to try this one? You can raise your hand. Looks like everyone okay. is raising Yeah, your hand. wow. Mm. Don't worry, I'll give all of you a chance. Maybe I'll go with Yunling first. Yes, Yunling. Jungle. Jungle. Perfect, Yunling. You are right. So, the parrot, okay, as well as the tiger, okay, they both live in the jungle where there are a lot of trees. Very well done. Bravo. Okay, we have a few more to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Listen carefully. The camel lives in a place where there is sand. The camel lives in a place where there is sand. Hmm, which of these places have sand? Can you tell hmm. me? Anyone? Okay, Amar. Desert. Desert. Perfect, Amar. You are right. Okay, so the camel lives in the desert. So we're going to put the camel here. Okay, next. Okay, Putri, this is your turn, yeah? It says, the goat lives in a place where there are rocks. Ooh. The goat lives in a place mm -hmm. where there are rocks. People at home, you can also try and look. Which one of these places have rocks? And where does the goat live? Can you tell me, Putri? Hmm. Mountains? Mountains? Yes, you are right. Okay, well so the done. goat actually lives in the mountains. Ah. Perfect, Putri. Very well done. Okay, we have we have two more. Two more. Okay, the next one. The polar bear and penguin live in a place where there is snow. The polar bear and penguin live in a place where there is snow. Maybe Max. Can you tell me Max? Polar region. Yes, you are right. Perfect, well Max. Very well done. So you are right. So actually the polar bear mm -hmm. as well as the penguin live in the polar region. Okay, we still have two more animals. Okay, help them find their homes, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, the last one. The shark and jellyfish live in a place where there are beautiful corals. One more time. The shark and jellyfish live in a place where there are beautiful corals. Okay, anyone who would like to tell me? You can raise your hand. Okay, maybe Putri. Putri, can you tell me, Putri? Ocean. Ocean, you are right. So I'm going to put the shark first, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm going to put the jellyfish over here. Wow, pupils. Very well done. Okay, you managed to get all of these answers correct. And you were able to put all the animals back to their homes. Perfect. Excellent. So, looks like mission number two. Is accomplished. Yes. yes. Very well done. So smart, all of you. All right, well done everyone once again. And right now we're going to take a short break. Back to you for level one on Did it TV KPM. TV. 
KPM. Didik TV KPM. You are now watching Level One on Didik TV KPM, and now we are going to proceed with mission number three. Let's go. Yes. Okay. So mission number three. Now over here, if you can see, there is actually a map here. So for this mission, what you have to do is, I want you to look at the map and look at these animals. Are they placed at the right habitats? So some are correct, some are wrong. So now, pupils, I'm sure you have your paper with you, right? I've asked you to prepare some coloured papers. So what I want you to do is, if let's say the answer is wrong, okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to write, okay, the name of the animal first, then you can put a dash here and write down the correct habitat. So for example, over here, okay, we have the shark and also jungle. So we all know that the shark doesn't live in the jungle. So what you can do, pupils, you write down shark, dash, and the correct answer, ocean. Let's begin with our first one. Okay, now let's have a look at the map. So over here, we have got jungle and goat. So is the answer correct or is it wrong? So if it's correct, give me a thumbs up. If it's wrong, give me a thumbs down. Can you show me a thumbs up or a thumbs down? It's wrong. Okay, now, pupils, can you write down on the paper the correct answer? So you write down, first of all, you write down goat, okay? And then you put a dash and then you write down the habitat. So where is it supposed to be? Where does the goat live? Can mm -hmm. you write down and when you are ready, you can show me your answer on the screen. Whenever oh, wow. you're ready. Looks can you like... show me your answer? Yeah. Wow. Perfect. Well, Max, you even drew something there. Very well done. That's right. So the goat lives in the mountains. Very good. Now, let's look at number two. What do you think about this one? Camel and desert. Is it correct? If it's correct, give me a thumbs up. If it's wrong, give me a thumbs down. Can I see a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Yes, you are right. So the camel lives in the desert. Okay, the third one. Look at this one. We have got ocean and penguin. Ocean and penguin. Is this correct or is it wrong? Give me a thumbs up if it's correct or give me a thumbs down if it's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, so pupils, you know what to do? Write down penguin and write down where does it live. So write down penguin first, put a dash and write down where does it live. So whenever you are ready, pupils, you can lift up and show me your answers. Okay, don't worry. Take your time. So where does the penguin live? If it does not live in the ocean, where does it live? Hmm. Mm. So the pupils are busy writing right now. Yep, for those Let's of you. see who's going to be the first one. Yes! Yeah. That's right. Very good spelling over there. Penguin and the penguin leaves at the polar region. Very well done, Max, as well. Very well done, Yunling. All right. Okay, and I'm sure Putri also has us and Ama as well. Yes, correct spelling. Very well done. Perfect pupils. Okay, what about this one? What about this one? We have got parrot and mountains. Parrot and mountains. Hmm, is this correct or is it wrong? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Hmm. Thumbs down from Yunling, thumbs down from Sophia, Amar and also Max. Okay, so give me the correct answer. Where does the parrot live? So write down parrot, put a dash over there and then where does it live? Ah, so check on your spelling. While you are doing, check on your spelling. Mm -hmm. Let's see who's going to be the first one to give me the answer. Where does the parrot live? Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, parrot jungle. Wow. Perfect, everyone. Well done. Okay, and the last one. Polar bear, polar region. Is hmm. that correct? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. What do you think? Yes, perfect, pupils. You are right. That is correct. So, mission number three. Complete. Complete. Very, very well yeah. done. Wow. Okay. 
So pupils, mm -hmm. I want you to have a look at this one just for a little while before we conclude. You have already studied about animals, mm -hmm. you have studied about their habitats, where do they live and what is found in their habitats. Now, if you look here, do you think it's dirty or is it very clean? Can someone tell me? Can you unmute yourself and can you tell me, is it dirty or is it clean? There's paper here, there's a straw. Maybe can uh, Yunling, Yunling, can you unmute yourself and tell me? Dirty. Very dirty. Okay, so now this is actually a home for the camel. So when it's dirty, do you think the camel can live? No, it's going to be very hard for them. It's very dirty, it can be very smelly. So we must take care of the homes of uh, animals. All the animals, we have to take care of their Homes. So pupils, all of you have done very, very well. Mm -hmm. You have completed all the three missions. And Sean, yes. if you, let's see, if you want to find extra enrichment activities, yep. you can look at Sumber Koo. That's so right. right now, mm -hmm. we have an extra mission all that right. we have to do. That's so right. So our mission... But I think before our mm. mission is, maybe you can give us a short conclusion to what we have done for today. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So before we go to the extra mission, today we learned about habitats and animals. And we also learned about what we can find in these habitats. And all of you were able to listen very well when I gave you the keywords. And you were also to, uh, able to write well when I asked you to spell out yeah. the animals as well as the habitats. So how very would their well overall done. performance be? Oh, I would give them a double, triple, multiple thumbs up, pupils. Right. Very well done. Well done to everyone. And for those of you watching, hopefully this has been beneficial to you. And we'll see you in our next next lesson. Bye everyone! <laughs> All right. Oh, now for our final yes. mission. Okay. We have this one over here that All we have right. to complete. <gasps> there are three questions that I have to answer. Okay. And if I get to answer this correctly, I get to leave this Let game. Let me see. I have a very long neck. Haha, <laughs> I know what the answer to this I... one. Oh no, what yes. is this long I neck? I hope I spelled long it correctly. Neck. Is it ostrich? The alphabet that goes from A to Z, but I go from Z to A. I know this answer. Oh no, Sean, wait for and me, Sean. I am known as the king of the jungle. I also know this answer. No. I think I got it correct. Let me just check and see with the game master. No, 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 Sean. Yes. Wait. Did I get it right? Oh no, Sean. King of the jungle. I am known as the king of the jungle. What All right, looks like I got it right. Okay, bye, Miss Sylvia. I'm going. Bye, bye, Sha everyone. Sean, no, no. D -D TV KPM.